don't think you should support the death penalty to seek revenge. I don't think that it's right. I think the reason to support the death penalty is because it saves others' lives. Stated George Walker Bush, the 43rd President of the United States. In my speech, I will argue why the death penalty should be abolished. I will discuss how capital punishment, otherwise known as the death penalty, can be used to deter criminals, stop criminals from committing the same crimes, and protecting the public, and changes that can be made to make the death penalty less costly. Now that I've discussed my main points, I will elaborate on my first point. A reason we should keep the death penalty is due to the fact of the deterrence of people committing crimes. Simply, we could use the death penalty as a tool to deter people from committing crimes in the first place or never even occurring in their mind because if not, they will get the death penalty. This is to stop the crime before it even occurred through the fear of being caught by law enforcement and being sentenced to death. However, the main problem with this idea is that studies have shown that the death penalty is not effective as a deterrent. The reason these studies have shown that the death penalty is not effective is because the amount of time taken to execute the individual and a small chance of being sentenced to death. Meaning there's, even if you commit the crime, there's a small chance that you will be sentenced to death. That's the main problem. The Legal Defense Fund which is, Amer um, which is America's premier legal organization fighting for racial justice, conducted a survey where they found the number of death row prisoners that had been executed had dropped significantly from 2000 to 2022, with 85 being executed in 2000 and only 7 prisoners being executed from in, in 2022, which is a big difference. As I previously stated, the main problem is that the <coughs> that the executions are carried out and more prisoner most prisoners are not being executed. This does not mean that we should start executing every criminal because that's not morally right, but those who have done heinous crimes, as well as only sentencing criminals to capital punishment if there is beyond reasonable doubt that they have committed the crime, such as surveillance footage, which is physical hard proof. If this is done, the death penalty can finally act as a useful deterrent, further protecting the public and stopping the crimes before they even occur. They can be used as a useful deterrent to crime, but how does it end crime? Specifically, how does it really directly affect it instead of indirectly affecting crime? UCLA reported that in 2000, there had been a 46 increase in the lives lost behind, <laughs> behind bars from 2019, despite a 10% decrease in overall prison population. This shows how people may continue killings even in prison, and that is a problem in life that life sentence, the life sentence cannot solve. So, they may, may be sentenced to life in prison. But that does not mean they're going to stop killing people even in prison. And if it, the and if they kill people in prison, there is no death penalty that can be enforced, which means they'll be just put back into the system and may kill again. According to the Statista, a database for survey results shown, shows that in 2000, let alone 2020, 2,231 inmates escape prison. The death penalty can solve issues and very well lower the number of death in prison. If the death penalty was to be abolished, the maximum punishment punishment would only be life in prison, but does not serve a purpose or once already in prison. It also helps people from <clears throat> if the criminal 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 escapes prison. If the crim criminal escapes prison, they will may just kill again. The death penalty can help stop murders, but how cost effective is it? Trial itself and in initial appears. <clears throat> trial itself and initial appeals will consume years and enormous amounts of money before an execution is on the horizon, stated 
Dieter Richer C., who is an executive director of the Death Penalty Information Center. This is an accurate depiction of the cost of a death penalty trial, as the case is more severe as the jury selection is more time-consuming, extensive, legal costs, also causing the death penalty to just be more expensive than it has to be. However, this should not convince anyone that the death penalty should be abolished as the problem is that the, how the trials are dealt with and how, what constitutes the pursuit of the death penalty. The death penalty can cause a state to spend more than it should and encourage state to be more selective on and when how to do on when to have the death penalty be called into question. The cost should only encourage the state to be more strict to have stricter obligations and when to be able to use the death penalty. Now that I'm finished with my main topics, let's review them. The death penalty should not be abolished as it could act as an effective deterrence, protects people in and out of prison, and can be used more effectively to save money. The death penalty is and can be effective and be very useful to society. And I leave with this. I do not think you should support the death penalty to seek revenge. I don't think that it's morally right. I think the reason to support the death penalty is because it saves other people's lives. Thank you.